hello everybody welcome back to another graphic arc video and uh, i know i've been late to the party with uh, alan wake 2 video so uh, you probably already know that the performance even on the newer gpus is uh, it is what it is when you use presets but uh, luckily digital foundry helped us and uh, gave us the optimized settings for 1440p uh, playstation 5 performance uh, mode settings which we will be using in this uh, video and compare if we can actually get uh, 60 fps or around 60 fps at the designated settings uh, i will be leaving post processing on high for now even though i think uh, optimized setting is low and uh, okay global illumination here you should set this to medium but i will be testing either low or uh, high right now it will be on high and uh, yeah the rest of the settings are like seen in the video you can also go check out digital foundry's video and uh, copy those settings here as well but uh, yeah guys do you think that uh, it will perform about 60 fps or not huh? let's check it out uh, oh uh i think playstation 5 uh, uses the reconstruction uh, you know upscaling fsr but I'm not totally sure if it's either performance mode or balance mode, so uh, yeah, we'll be just using uh, performance mode in most cases. We'll be also testing out FSR at the end to see what kind of FPS difference do we get, but uh, okay. Alan Wake 2, here we have the starting scene, we can see in the woods we get about 60 FPS, I mean... Later on in the areas it drops even to about 50, but uh, okay, most of the time you can expect about 50 FPS. If you do the VRR modify uh, trick that I have video in my channel and uh, use the free sync on your monitor, then uh, it's actually a pretty smooth experience, even though that we are getting about 45 FPS here in this case. It still felt uh, kind of smooth, no, though there are some stutters in game, guys. I'm not sure if it's my system. Uh, some people on my Discord complained that the game is a stuttery mess, even on A750. So uh, if you have Intel Arc and you bought Alan Wake 2, let me know your experience down below in the comments. I want to see and hear if you have also the stuttering issues or it could be just uh, me and some other people. Uh, okay, let me just quickly set global illumination here to low, even though optimized setting should be medium, but uh, we gain some FPS difference, so let's see how the game performs here if you set to low. We are still hovering around uh, 50 hey, FPS, so um, yeah, charge. with the Why PlayStation not? 5 optimized settings, it's not quite there like PlayStation is, because I saw uh, people say that uh, even Digital Foundry showed that uh, most of the time it's 60 FPS, but uh, the game can drop to around 50. So uh, Intel Arc A770 16GB version is kind of there at the PlayStation 5 performance level, but uh, still not quite. Uh, who knows, maybe it's drivers right now, even though this I am using the optimized Alan Wake 2 driver. But I still think that this graphic card can squeeze out a bit more. I saw 3070 performing much better, so uh, Intel, if you can do something about the performance with the drivers in this game like you did in Resident Evil 4 before, please do so. We want that uh, stable 60 FPS with PlayStation 5 recommended settings. Now, come on, it, it doesn't maintain. Look, we are hovering at around 45, 50. There are some cases like here where we get a smooth 60 FPS. Look at it. It's really smooth when it plays at 60 and above, but uh, once it drops to 50, 45, we get those stutters, so uh, if only somehow we will be able to lock it at 60, maybe okay, dropping the resolution to 1080p and maybe using FSR balance, which uh, I'm not sure uh, if we should do that, uh, but uh, I think in the recommended system settings uh, that uh, the developer showed, I think it was <laughs> for a smooth 60 FPS uh, on 3070, what, 1080p with uh, FSR performance, which is what, 540p? Yeah, I mean, let me know if you want if you want me to do a future, um, further detailed video, but I don't think we really need to. I just want to quickly show you the PlayStation 5 optimized settings, which I think you should use with some tweaking here and there, but if you want... To have around 50 60 fps uh, or you know i will also show you in a bit uh, my uh, 
optimize settings for uh, ray tracing and uh, 30 fps lock but uh yeah and this is the first area here let's compare fsr how it works hmm? with the playstation 5 optimized settings let's see how it works here we will walk down the street and uh yeah as you can see the performance difference is uh about four to five fps based on the quality we will be we, you would be using but uh yeah i am the picture playing in the break i mean video it's with the fsr performance mode i didn't use the quality one because i think with performance fsr which is 720p at 1440p still looks okay just said that uh, global illumination to high and uh, shadows to either medium or high but uh yeah this is the optimized settings for 30 fps guys if you want to use ray tracing we use global illumination high here we will also be setting uh, post-processing quality it's also good that you have it on high because it looks much better some water effects and stuff it really looks better so just leave that to high and texture resolution i mean just more memory allocated a few di different fps drops from medium to high but not much of a difference so just use the optimized medium setting and uh yeah look at this guys if you cap your fps to 30 and uh i think you should have a pretty smooth experience at uh, 1440p downscaled to 720p which is then upscaled again back to 1440p with fsr <laughs> uh, i mean i will struggle with this play the game but uh Hopefully some future driver updates are coming as well, just to smooth out that performance so we get 60. Anyways, let me know down in the comments below if you'll be buying Alan Wake 2. And uh, like, subscribe, you know, and see ya in the next video tomorrow.